talking about social commerce, that's um, not a new buzzword, but um, it, in Europe, it's a fairly new buzzword, social commerce, as you described. Uh, can you pinpoint any brands who, who are better than others, uh, any, any famous brands who do this fairly good in, in China or, or in the region here? We're also now seeing actually local, local brands now entering the stage, them knowing this ecosystem better than the outside brands. One big brand, as we probably know, maybe not all of us, but some of you, is the Perfect Diary, which is the, the Chinese cosmetic brand, which just in, you know, in a couple of years surpassed uh, you know, all the major cosmetic brands on Tmall, and, you know, and being the number one brand on Tmall today, uh, being a Chinese brand. And you know, if, if somebody told us a couple of years ago that that would be able to happen, we, we would have said impossible because we know or we knew at least that you know cosmetics and these kind of products uh, that you eat or you put on your body uh, the Chinese population they were very reluctant uh, towards these products so not only are we seeing you know Chinese companies doing this because it's pretty fascinating to see how a small startup from, from China can beat Lancome and you know L'Oreal in, in terms of sales uh, here, here in China and on Tmall would you say that perfect area their unique selling point in their in their success is the way how they work with social commerce their whole business philosophy has surrounded only on influencer marketing and social commerce that's everything that they've been doing so they've been very very good with a mix of you know everything from small kocs to big kols and also been fantastic with integrating and using the diversified ecosystem in this social commerce world that is available now in China. Because before it was only Tmall basically, you know, four or five years ago. But now you have, you know, six, seven, eight easily uh, new commerce channels that are all connected to any kind of social media platform. So it makes it even more complex for sure, but the opportunities uh, are even more uh, open now. It's an open play field now. Looking there on, on, on the influencer marketing uh, landscape where the social media platforms, of course, have a big advantage today compared with the, the traditional marketplaces like Tmall, JD. Can you see any, any trends there in terms of what Tmall and JD and other marketplaces are doing in terms of getting back the initiative from the social media guys? All of these social commerce stores uh, that, that we're talking about, the, actually JD and Tmall are actually connected to them. So they are actually uh, a part of the social commerce system. The social media platforms, they are, they are having a war uh, in between themselves. So now it's very difficult to cross promote uh, a, a website or an online store. I cannot put a link here that put me to another uh, platform or another ecosystem that post will immediately be blocked. So the social media platforms are now their worst enemies. Uh, but actually in the back end, the commerce alternatives, they are being smart because they're saying like, hey, Xiao Shu, you are a social media platform. How about you putting e-commerce as part of your platform? I already have the infrastructure, but you have the users and you have all the social media things happening. And then the social media, from being social media, it becomes social commerce. So it's actually them aligning themselves with the social media. It doesn't really matter what platform uh, you are operating on. There is always now a, a commerce alternative uh, to it. So the opportunities now are actually endless, I would say.